Michael Grabner from the New York Islanders will be coming over to the Toronto Maple Leafs just in time for training camp and a trip to Halifax as well in exchange for forwards Taylor Beck Carter Verhage and defensemen Matt Finn and Tom Nielsen and goaltender Christopher Gibson that wow. is a whole lot going the other way for Michael Grabner here and there we take a look at uh, his numbers and uh, Grabner has skated in as you say as you see 317 NHL games uh, the Islanders the Canucks uh, and when you look at those kind of numbers uh, he was a first round 14th overall yep. 2006 uh, this is a guy that they hope as uh, Lou said speed well no doubt about it he does he's got terrific speed and uh, you know he's a guy that's Lou talked about too a, a, an upper echelon penalty killer but to me it's always the speed that you know really defines a player and Michael Grabner's got tremendous speed and always has been that way he had a big time uh, you know year I think 34 goals the one year but I, I guess the big thing is is the New York Islanders uh, you know have obviously a room for contracts and they need some bodies probably for their American League affiliate too but you know you're giving up some assets certainly Carter Verhage who's going to be pro this mm -hmm. year first time uh, Tom Nielsen played last year in the Marlies first year uh, Christopher Gibson uh, I think a terrific young goaltender but you've got Antoine Bebo also and Garrett Sparks who's yeah. uh, looked pretty good in the rookie tournament so you give up you know you gain some as he said four contracts which is and huge. that's a huge thing for this organization because they were sort of handcuffed over the last little bit where they've had to make a couple deals even at the end of the last year where they gave away a couple players for uh, you know conditional seventh round pick so you look at Devin Setaguchi Brad right. boys Curtis Glencross I think they're the three happiest guys going because now right. the possibility and you look at the organization they've got a lot of young young talent that's yeah. either in junior or the American Hockey League it has to develop now you'll probably bring in a veteran Toronto Maple Leaf Hockey Club that's going to be more than able to compete and allow the younger prospects to develop but they had no flexibility whatsoever as you've mentioned now 49 to back down to 45 uh, picks there's some room I think to sign some of these PTOs if they have good camps and are able yep. to make the grade and I, I think they might be able to.